In this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can create your own GIF on a Chromebook. If you wanted to use a pre-existing GIF on your Chromebook, you could just go to a GIF website like Giphy.com and save or share a GIF from there. But if you want to create your own GIF on a Chromebook, there's actually a few different ways you could go about doing that. One option is to use the built-in GIF recording feature in the Chrome OS camera app to create a GIF with your webcam, so you could be waving at your Chromebook's webcam or smiling at it or something, and you could create a GIF like that. So if you want to do that, all you need to do is open up the camera app on your Chromebook. So come and click on the launcher icon in the bottom left-hand corner and scroll through the app launcher until you find the camera app and click on that to open up the camera app. And now you'll be in the camera app and down here, you'll actually need to choose video. Even though we want to create a GIF, it's under the video category of things you could record. So you'll choose video. And now that we're on video here, we have the option for normal, which is a normal video or time lapse or GIF. So we'll click GIF and now it'll be ready to record a GIF. So when you're ready, all you need to do is click on the record button and then it will record a GIF for five seconds of anything that's happening on the camera. And then you can view and save it and things like that. So to me, we'll go ahead and click the record button here and record a GIF. And now we have a GIF of Timmy smiling and waving at the camera. So if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and share or save it. But if it's not quite right and you need to try again and retake it, you can click retake down here and then it'll take you back to the camera so you can try again. And then you'll just try recording again. And if you want it to be less than five seconds, you can always just click the stop button at any point and then it will stop it sooner. And that's obviously not a good gift because to me wasn't doing anything. So we'll actually retake that again and make it a bit better. And now we have a GIF of Timmy waving. So then once you've finished recording your GIF and you're happy with it, all you need to do is click save here and it will save it to the camera folder on your Chromebook. So now we can just close the camera app and go and pull up the files app. And now if you go into my files in the files app, so not Google drive or anything, go into my files, you should find a camera folder here. So then you'll double click on the camera folder. And now if you have it sorted by date modified here, the top file in here should be the GIF you just recorded. So if we double click on that and open it up, we can see this is Timmy's GIF. And now you have your GIF right here. And it's just like any regular file. So you can rename it or you can move it into a different folder and you can, or you can leave it there, or you can upload it to any website and share it with people and do whatever you want with it. You now have your GIF. So that's all there is to using your Chromebook's camera to make a GIF. But another option would be to use a similar function with the screen recording feature on your Chromebook to record a GIF of anything happening on your Chromebook screen. The first thing you'll need to do is pull up whatever you want to show in the GIF. So Timmy's going to open Google Chrome and pull up the Tech Time with Timmy YouTube channel to make a GIF of subscribing to Tech Time with Timmy. But you could pull up whatever you want to make a GIF of whatever you want. So Timmy will just pull up this here. And now we have this subscribe button here, which to me wants to make a GIF of. But you would pull up whatever you want to make a GIF of. And then when you're ready to record your GIF, what you'll need to do is come down and click on the time in the bottom right hand corner down here to bring up this menu. And then in here, you'll find an option that says screen capture somewhere. It might be in a slightly different layout on your Chromebook, 
but there will be a button somewhere that says Screen Capture, and you'll need to click on that. And now, in Screen Capture, you'll need to switch it from Screenshot, so a picture, to Screen Recording that would record a video. And then you'll need to make sure this option is on the middle icon to record a partial portion of the screen. It's a bit strange. If you use either of those two, it won't give you the option to record a GIF. So you have to use the middle option and record a portion of the screen. And now you'll need to drag a box around what you want to record. So if you wanted to record the entire screen or almost the entire screen, you could drag a box right across the entire screen. But to me, it's just going to drag a box around this area here. So we'll start in this top corner and click and drag like that. Maybe we'll go about there. So now everything inside this box will be recorded in the GIF and everything outside the box will not be recorded. And you can click and drag the corners and adjust it a little bit if you want to get it just right. But then once you're ready to go, you need to click on this drop down arrow next to record video. So you'll click drop down there and then change it to record GIF. And now when you click this record GIF button, it will count down giving you three seconds and then it'll start recording your GIF. And then when you're finished recording your GIF, it'll put a little red dot icon on the bottom bar down there. So you'll go there and click the red dot as soon as you're finished. So to me, we'll click record and show you how it works. We click record, we get three, two, one. And now it started recording. So you go and click the subscribe button and we show that animation there. And then we'll quickly go and click this red dot here to stop the GIF recording. And now it's done. So now a notification will pop up showing you that your GIF has been recorded and you're done. So you can go ahead and open up the Files app and make sure you're in the My Files section and double click on the Downloads folder to go in there and you'll find your GIF in here. So you can double click on it and open it up and view it. So we can see, Timmy clicks the subscribe button and it says subscribed and then the GIF will be stopped. So you wanna do it a bit quickly. So as soon as you're finished with your GIF, you go and click that stop button because it is a little bit annoying to have the bit at the end there. But we now have a screen recording GIF. So we can close that and we're done. And it's just like any GIF on your Chromebook so you can open it up and watch it and close it and you can rename it. You can move it to a different folder or you can keep it in this folder and you can upload it to anywhere you want and do anything you want with it, just like that. But another option would be to create a GIF from an existing video. So whether that's a video that you've filmed in the past and saved to your Chromebook, or even if it's a video you've seen online somewhere, maybe on YouTube or something, the best way to capture a GIF of a video would be to use the website called Giphy.com. This is the website to be mentioned back at the start of this video, and people usually use it to find existing GIFs. But if you create a free account, it also has some pretty good features for creating GIFs. And if you've created a GIF using one of the other two methods to me showed you, and you want to edit it and apply some effects, Giphy.com also works quite well to edit existing GIFs. All you need to do is go to Giphy.com. So we'll open up a new tab and go to Giphy.com and press enter. And you will need to be logged in in order to do this. So go ahead and click log in here. And if you don't have an account, you can click sign up here and sign up. But to me, it's just going to click login and log in to Timmy's existing account. And now you'll be in sort of an account page here, but you really don't need to do anything with this. All you need to do is click the create button down here. So we'll click create. And now this is where you need to add the video or the GIF that you want to work with. So 
If you have filmed a video previously and it's saved to your Chromebook, you can click Choose File here and it'll pull up a Files app window and you'll choose the video to upload it into Giphy and create a GIF from it. Or if you already have a GIF on your Chromebook that you want to edit, you can click Choose File there and upload the GIF and edit it. Or if the video is not on your Chromebook and it's online somewhere, you can paste the URL down here. So Timmy actually has this Tech Time with Timmy video right here. And if you want to use a YouTube video or something, you just pull up the video and click in the address up here so that it's all highlighted like that. And then you'll right click or two finger click on the address and click copy in the menu that appears. And now you'll have the URL to the video. So you can go back to Jiffy and right click or two finger click in here and click paste. And it'll paste that URL in there and it'll immediately start processing it to make a GIF from it. But as Timmy has just discovered, you can not use a video that's longer than 10 minutes or larger than 100 megabytes. So Timmy chose a video that's too long. So we actually need to go back and choose a different video, which is a bit unfortunate. So we'll try this video instead. So we'll copy this URL here and right click and click copy. And now we'll come back to Giphy here and click go back and paste that URL in there. And hopefully it'll allow this one. So just keep that in mind. If your video is more than 10 minutes, you might not be able to use it. But now that we've added this shorter video in here, we can see it's come up in here and it's started playing for us. And this is where you'll need to trim your video. So you'll have the option to trim your video. And if the video is longer than 30 seconds, you'll have to trim it to less than 30 seconds. But with a GIF, you probably want it to be even shorter than 30 seconds anyway. So in here, you need to drag each end to where you want the GIF to start and stop. So we might go right at the start of the video. So we'll drag this end right back here. And maybe we'll go somewhere like that, 16 seconds. And we could also bring the start in a little bit if we wanted to, six seconds. So now the GIF is only six seconds long and it's this little portion of the video here. So we can see it repeating here, the portion of the video that will be used in the GIF. So you can play around with that and get it so the start and stop times are exactly right. And if dragging these sliders is too hard, you can also change the times by typing in that box, but it's hard to know the times, so it's probably easier to use the slider. But then once you're happy with the portion of the video you've chosen, you go ahead and click continue to create. And now this could take quite a while because it has to actually process your video and turn it into a GIF. But then once it's finished with that, it'll bring up this page here and it's glitching a bit like that. It won't do that once it's actually saved. But now you'll have the option to apply some edits to your GIF if you want. So if you don't want to do any of that and you just want to have your GIF as it is, you can click continue. But if you wanted to maybe add some text to it, you could click here and add some text, or you could add stickers, or you could add effects, or you could crop your GIF if you wanted to crop something out of it. And you can add layers here if you want to get really fancy with it. So this is where you can add all kinds of things like that. And if you have uploaded an existing GIF, this is also where you'd be able to add any effects and edits and things that you want to add to your GIF. So you can do stuff like that if you want to. Maybe to me we'll add some text and we will click the plus there to add the text there. So that doesn't look overly good. You'd probably want to put more effort into that, but to me doesn't want to take too long here. So we'll just add some text like that. But you could take your time and do all the different edits you want to do. And then down here, you would click continue to upload, but because that's blue and that looks like the button to click on. But 
That will actually continue to upload it to Giphy.com. If that's what you want to do, you can go ahead and do that. But you probably just want to download your GIF. So if you want to do that and you don't want to save your GIF to Giphy.com, you can just click download and it will download your GIF to your downloads folder. So we can see the progress here and it's showing these dots. So we'll just need to wait for that to process. And now it's downloaded the GIF to your downloads folder. So if you also wanted to upload it to Giphy or save it to your account, you can even do it privately and stuff. So you could continue and click continue to upload and upload it there. But if you don't want your GIF to be on Giphy at all, and you just wanted to capture it and edit it and save it to your computer, you can just close this tab now and click leave. It's warning you it won't be saved in Giphy, but you've already downloaded your GIF, so that doesn't matter. And then you can go ahead and open up the Files app and go into the Downloads folder, and you'll have your GIF here named giphy.gif. So now we have this GIF from Tech Time with Timmy with the words Tech Time with Timmy added to it. And now you can rename it, you can move it to a different folder, and you can look at it whenever you want, and you can do whatever you want with it. You now have your GIF. And that's all there is to it. Those are all three different ways that you can create GIFs on your Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful, and Tamil will see you in the next one.